Hi kids! Today we will learn more about light or light energy. So let's start. First and foremost thing we need to know is that everything that we see around us is because of light reflected from those objects. There may be many things around you, a pencil, a paper, a door, and a lamp. Everything is seen because of light reflected from it. Here we have a room with lights on and we can see all the things in this room. This bed, window, toys, everything. And switch off the light. It's dark now. You can't see anything in the room because no light is falling on the objects. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Here is a park. We can see different plants, trees, flowers, because light from the sun is falling on these things. Now it's nighttime. Can you see any plants, trees, or flowers? No. Not clearly, as no light from the sun is there. We can see the shape of plants and trees because still there is some light falling on them from the moon, which is not enough to see everything clearly. So, you are able to see anything because it is reflecting the light falling on it. We can see this flower because light from the sun is falling on it. And light is always reflected off the thing on which it falls. And that reflected light from those objects makes us see that object. Here is an apple. You can see this apple because of the light falling on it is getting reflected back into your eyes. Now let's see what are luminous and non-luminous objects. Objects that give out light on its own are known as luminous objects. Let's see some examples. Sun, stars, fire, glow, and give out light on their own. So they are luminous objects. Here are some examples of living luminous objects. Fireflies, jellyfish, flashy fungus, radiant railroad, glowing millipedes. These are natural luminous objects. They glow and emit light on their own. We see luminous objects because light emitted by them enter our eyes directly. We see this bulb because the light emitted by it is directly entering our eyes. Now let's see non-luminous objects. Objects that do not give out light on its own are called non-luminous objects. Like this glass does not emit or give out light of its own but it is reflecting the light falling on it, because of which we can see it, so it's a non-luminous object. These objects are emitting light of their own, so they are luminous objects. And these objects are not emitting any light of their own, so they are non-luminous objects. We are able to see them because they are reflecting the light falling on them from some other luminous source. Kids, the moon, is it luminous or non-luminous? Most of you will say, moon is a luminous object. But no, it's a non-luminous object. Moon does not have light of its own. 
it reflects the light of the sun falling on it, because of which it glows at night. So kids, we learned, how do we see different objects? And what are luminous and non-luminous objects? We learned that all non-luminous objects reflect the light falling on them, but not all the objects reflect light in a similar way. The smoother the surface, the more the light it reflects. This is why objects having smooth surface appear shinier, brighter, and glossier. And objects having rough surfaces do not shine and appear dull. We will learn more about light in our next assignment. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.